Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and continue. So at this point you should have two wings. Hopefully you can be able to figure out how to do the mirror image for it. Um, now that we have our two wings, we're going to start on our tail. And from the tail, we're going to connect it uh, to the back capelet. Um, but that one we're going to do it uh, actually, yeah, we'll do the back capelet uh, after the, the tail. And after the capelet, we're going to do the head, so that's going to be a separate piece. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need jelly yellow and jelly red. We're going to start off with our red base. And for this one, you're going to need two red bands. And you're going to need them. Actually, we're going to start off. <laughs> Grab two orange. Okay. Just two orange, not red, orange. These are red, these are orange. So you're gonna grab your two orange. Let's put them off at the very beginning, right here where our arrows are at. From there. Okay, now we're gonna need our two red. And let's go ahead and put them off right there. Next, we're gonna need our two red also. And. Um, just like you did the fire last time, you just do it at random select areas wherever you want to, really. You do not need to copy me uh, exact. Um, this fire is going to be a lot smaller, so we're not going to need that many bands. I'm going to go ahead and do two colors on this one. Two colors on this one, and two colors uh, again right here. Kind of want to make this one a little bit thicker, and I'm gonna do two yellow right here, and I'm gonna um, do one capped yellow right here and finish it off with a cap band going around four times okay um let's continue so i'm going to need again another two here and i'm going to need two yellow uh, and this one, um, I'm going to grab two yellow from here to here, okay, because <laughs> I need to extend it, <laughs> um, and two yellow here, a capped yellow. Okay, another capped yellow. I want to make that middle a little bit longer. Uh, a capped yellow here. Okay, and I'm going to put cap bands on both of these ends. Um, I'm going to grab two more yellow, actually, no, 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 just one more yellow. I'm going to cap it and I'm going to connect it from here to here. And I need a cap band here as well on this one because that's another end. Make sure you cap all your ends. Um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm good right there. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my sides first, and I'm going to loom the middle in the end, okay? Uh, let's start off with right here because it's the highest one. And I'm going to do this one. Mm 
Remember, do not loom anything from here in the middle, okay? Loom to the middle, but do not loom the middle. Because obviously you're going to leave that to the end, not this one. Okay, now this. ones okay I'm actually going to use a slip knot right there just for now so I can be able to hold it in the meantime come on take off Okay, All right, so now to make it a little bit more three-dimensional, I'm going to add extras. Just need to fix it so I can make sure I know where my end is. So I'm gonna add extras here. And I'm gonna do, just pick a random spot and start adding course a little bit extra to have it come out through the side so it looks a little more 3d and I'm gonna put two bands and then I'm gonna do a capped one because I don't want it too long okay. and then I'm gonna end it so it's looking a little bit better but my base is still too small, so I'm going to add um, right here, right here, and here. And I'm using both colors because it's going to look a little bit better. And I'm going to grab another capped one. And I'm going to add another capped one. Yeah, sorry. Capped one right here. <laughs> come on, go through all of them. Come on. And now a plane. You get sirens and we get planes here. <laughs> okay. Right, cool. Okay. I think it needs something right here because it looks just like that opening right there. I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these two and these two and add something there. I'm going to use two yellows. And I'm going to finish it off with one capped red. So play with it. Just do it however you want until you're satisfied with how it looks. It's going to be your own fire design. You get to go ahead and do whatever you want. So just go ahead and just grab random areas. And I'm liking how it is already. You don't want it to be too big either, okay? You want it. It's as big as my thumb. Because, of course, it has to be pretty standard size. Okay, good. Our fire is done. Now, let me clean up so we can get ready for the tail. 
Okay, for this little section, we're gonna need uh, your loom to have an opening right here. So you're gonna take out the middle part and just have it however, but you're gonna need just this opening. And we're pretty much gonna need this configuration or close to this configuration for pretty much the rest of your, your Pikachu. I hope. <laughs> Grab your fire. The first thing you need to do is take out that slip knot. We do not need it, but make sure you do not lose those bands. So put them on your hook. Okay, there we go. Okay, once it's on your hook, you're gonna go ahead and just put them across in the middle. Like this and like this. Okie dokie. Okay. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab, try to grab all those bands again. Well, your hook, try to put your, your hook through all those bands again because you're going to put in another set of double bands there. Okay, just like that. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. How did I? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to remember like what I did. Okay, so now you're gonna go ahead and put double bands. Um. Sorry, right here on the sides. And you're gonna use your pastel yellow, okay? And if you don't have yellow, then go ahead and just get a neon orange um, or Pikachu yellow. But I mean, it's gonna look a lot better if it's a different type of yellow. And just put it right there in the bottom and flip over these bottom two bands. Okay, All right. Mm, yeah, okay. Now let's do that again. Double orange. Double yellow on the bottom. Now you're going to grab the bottom four and flip those over. One more time. Again, flip over. Okay, so on the next part, we're gonna do something. Um, we're gonna be adding a mini spike, and you're gonna be using one orange band. Cap it anywhere. Just go ahead and put it on two pegs, and then you're gonna put a cap band on there. It's four times. Loom it. Now you're gonna grab the two bands. In orange, just take this out of the loom. It's right there on your hook. Grab those two bands, transfer this onto those bands, and you're going to add this right here on the top. Okay, just like that. And go ahead and do the rest. And 
you can flip over. Whoop. We're gonna do this three times. So you're gonna need to do three spikes. Okay, again, do your second spike. Grab the two bands, transfer it on. Oops. There we go. Okay. Push down. Now do your third spike. Make sure it's capped. And then put a cap in at the end. Yeah. My cap in only went three times. Hang on, I have to do it again. <laughs> Is it going around? I think it only, it's only going around three times, yeah. It looks like it's only three times. One more. Let's do it again. There we go. It came off now. Put this one back. There we go. Okay. All right, so now that we have our three spikes, one, two, three. I'll make sure that they're coming up <laughs> properly. All right, perfect. So now that we have our three spikes, we're gonna do. Um, This one has to be in a fifth extension. Okay, so close it off. Okay.
sure it's bike is staying on the outside. <laughs> okay. All right. Now Okay. The final one is going to be a larger spike in the end. Okay. So this one's going to need three bands. And then one capped band. And then put your end cap right there. I'm going to take it out, put it on the two bands, there we go, put that there, make sure it comes out, okay, and two bands, two bands, and your yellows. Okay, do one last close. And now we're going to go ahead and close it off with single bands. Gee. Okay, hold on. Okay, I like We're actually going to be needing two C clips. <laughs> and you're going to be adding them only to these two orange ones, okay? So grab your clip and put them on all the bands right there. Grab your next one. For me, it's a little bit easier if I use my hook, actually. There we go. Huzzah. Mm. Yeah. So these, I'm actually going to take off. Take it off carefully. Make sure your clip is good secure. There we go. And this you are going to transfer over on to over here. Okay. Mm, I want to put it right in the middle. So I'm going to have to move. Actually, that one could have stayed there. <laughs> Let's keep that one there because I'm going to put this one here instead. Be careful when transferring, okay? Make sure your tail stays in inside the hole. Get to that side, there we go. Okay. All right. So now you have this. And now we're gonna start on the capelet. Um, the first thing we need to do is how did I Regard that. Hmm. Okay, I think it's like this. So we're gonna be grabbing double bands, and they're gonna be in figure eight. We need to do it six times. So obviously these two are gonna be taking part for those. There's two. This is three. Four. Okay, 
And now that we have two on this side, we're going to do two on this side. Five and six. Okay. So it should look like that with your tail right in the middle. Um, you're going to flip this over and these four bands from the tail, go ahead and put them over like that. Okay. Next, you are going to grab two bands and you're going to stretch them across all of your bands just like that all the pegs okay and next you're going to grab two orange and put them right on top going across the pegs I feel like I'm, I'm I did something wrong. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. And I think I know just what I did. Hmm. 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 Okay. Here's how we're, here's how we're gonna fix it. I think. I hope. I think. Wait. Hold on. I'm, I wanna be sure I'm doing something correct. Okay, you know what? I think it will be fine. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and flip this right into the middle. Okay. And you're gonna flip over the bottom two on every single peg. Okay, now before we do anything else, we're gonna grab the ends where our clips are at. And we need to put them right here on the pegs. Back on, come on. Okie dokie. Alright, good. And you can take out the clip. There's one. Okay, there is the other one. Woo! All right. Hmm. 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 Okay. <laughs> now I know what what I needed to do. These bands actually have to go on top of the those. So what we're gonna do is go inside, grab. Um, grab these two, I think that will be okay, and then keep them on your hook, okay, it's the bottom two, you're going to slide them through your hook so that way they don't fall out, and then take out those from the peg, and then put these back on, let me show you again, so on this side, I'm going to grab, whoops, come on, focus. I'm going to grab those bottom two bands. The bottom two bands, okay. Slide them onto my hook. And I'm going to push these 
out of the peg. And then put this back on that peg. Okay. Yeah, good, good. Now we're gonna go ahead and put two orange bands across the entire thing again. And give me more orange. On this part, um, we've already done one row um, flipped over with six. This is going to be our second row with six. Uh, so the one that we're going to add on right now has to have eight. So in order to be able to do that correctly, um, we're going to add our six first. It's two. Three, four, and oh, I see why. Ah, I'm like, why is it so dark? Five, six. Okay. Now we have our six right there. Um, I'm going to slide this over, push down, and I'm going to introduce, so here's what I did, I'm going to go under the two bands, and I'm going to introduce seven, and put it in the peg. I feel like this is going to be way too tight. So here's um, yes, it's going to be way too tight. So I'm sorry, I have to do this. <laughs> Let's put this back. So sorry. Um, I'm going to move these out of the way for now and let go of this and put it there. Okay, and what I need to do instead is actually let's go ahead and sorry about that. I mean, it's at least it's not a hard thing to take off. So take them off all. I'm gonna stretch this over here. Okay, and now there's it's going on six pegs. Take this one off too, actually. You can just go ahead and use this one. You're going to put it right here and stretch it over six pegs. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, six. Uh, yeah. So this one stretched over six pegs. Okay. And this one stretched over six pegs. There. Now we can add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay, and slide that over, and this one too. Slide that over. Okay, better. Now, obviously, this one we're not going to do anything, so we're going to go directly to this one and flip those over. The bottom two only. Go to the other side, do the same thing. And flip over the bottom two. And that's it. Push down.
Okay. Now the next one, again, you're going to put it over six pegs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab again two orange and stretch them over to six pegs. Three, four, five, six. And go ahead. This one also has two rows of eight. So go ahead and fill in with double bands on all of them. Flip over the middle ones. And now you can flip over all of them in the bottom two. Push down. Okay. Now this next part is gonna have six parts again. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. So we stretch this over six pegs right here. And then you are gonna add this one here and this one here this one here and this one here okay and now you have to put okay two bands on all of them Okay, even the ones where, that you just um, transitioned over. So you're going to put double bands on all six, across all six pegs. Now you're going to flip this over. And you're going to flip over the bottom four right here the bottom two on the rest the bottom four here the bottom four yeah. here and the bottom two in the rest and the bottom four here push down now you're back to six. You're going to do um, our last two rows. And our last two rows are fours. So go ahead and put double bands on four pegs. Now you're going to transition these right here. And these here. These here. And these here. And go ahead and put double bands on all across all four pegs. Now you're going to flip this over and flip over the bottom ones and leave two, the two behind. Okay, now the last row has four. Make 
sure you push everything down. Flip this over and flip. Okay. It's quite a new snitch. <laughs> okay. Okay. When we get to the stage and the final part, oops. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and just transfer these over to one side. And you're gonna put slip knots on all of them. Okay. And we're going to be connecting this to the hoodie after we're done with the hoodie. Take it out. Let's go ahead and fix it. These stray bands we need to just go ahead and fix. I get the feeling that we really are not going to need these. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it. Just when I thought I fixed it, I tug it again. <laughs> okay. All right. So there's the back capelet for Pikachu. It's gonna end up going right here. So that's good. Da, 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 da. Cool. Okay. Right, good. Let's go ahead and try to get these spikes out so they protrude a little bit more. All right. Okay. Now, um, in this part, uh, the back part of the tail is right there. We're gonna be connecting the wings. Okay. And I left this part in the end because, like, it's. I feel like it's a lot easier this way. So right here, we have. Um, or try bands. I'm gonna put, yeah, I'm gonna put my hook through all of them and make sure I have them all. And now I can take off that slip knot. Because my hook is right here pointing from the teal side. And here's the orange side. I'm gonna pull those three through these three. 
Okay. Just like that. So now these three bands are like that. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. So again, my hook from the, the front part of the wing. Okay, and again, pull these through those three. All right, so now that we have it like that, don't, don't pull it too hard because you don't want it to be too tight. We're going to connect this one first. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to be connected in from here in the back. There is these two middle ones and then there's the two outer ones okay this one obviously is right here from the first second third fourth on the second one you're going to go on this second loop in here from this side you're going to try to get your hook through that hole okay try to just there we go. So now that I have it through that hole, the first one is going to go in there and pull it in. If you want to turn it around, okay. And I guess it, it's a little bit easier to do the second one actually. <laughs> The second one, and this is from my the inside of the capelet. So there it is. The second one, you have, there's your first one from the end one. Second, your third right there, that's where you're going to go ahead and take it out. Make sure you just go right under all those and... Okay. And it's coming out through there. So I know it's, that's correct. I'm going to grab these three bands now and pull it through so I have one extra band and I know that this one's not part of it so there's my three and now I'm gonna grab the three again that I just put in from the other one okay and then I have those three I'm going to pull those, okay, through. And so these are the three from the other ones, okay. And I'm going to grab the four other ones right here. I'm going to take out that slip knot and I'm going to put them through all of these bands now. Okay, now that I went through all of them, I'm going to put back the slip knot. Okay. So there's one wing attached. Okay. All right. Now the other one. Let's do the same thing. Go ahead and from the tail part, you're going to go in. Make sure you're going through all of them. Take out that slip knot. And pull those three right through and just kind of tug lightly don't don't pull too hard remember you don't but at the same time like you don't want them to fall through now these there we go this one's a little tighter so I'm gonna use my pick okay Pull those three right through. Okay, and tug. So there we go. Now again, 
right here, it's that first, second one, but I'm gonna do the third one, for, uh, the outer one first, okay? So it's gonna be the third one. So there's my first, second, third. I'm gonna go through, make sure I come out. There we go. I'm gonna grab the bottom set. There we go. I'm gonna keep it on my hook. And now I'm gonna go on, right there, there's my first, there's the second. So I'm gonna go in through there, make sure I come out correctly on the other side. <laughs> Try that again. There's my second. And coming out the correct part. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the top set these three, pull them through. Now that I have them through, I'm gonna pull them through these three. And now I'm gonna go ahead and grab these four bands where the slip knot is, take out that slip knot. Okay, and re-put it back on all these bands now. All right, so now both of the wings have been added. So there we go. So now the back cape plate is done. Now we just need the hoodie part. And this is gonna give versatility to the costume because now Pikachu can be able to flap its wings. <laughs> Looking good so far. How exciting. Alright, let's work on the on the headpiece. 